meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, feels like we should get that baseball season going with these temperatures. Looks like it'll be in the 50s this evening with clear skies dropping down to 51. At 11 p.m., into the 40s for overnight lows. We'll see some increasing clouds late tonight and into tomorrow morning, but still, I think we'll start off mostly sunny at 8 o'clock, but then partly to mostly cloudy skies late morning and into the afternoon as we get up into the low 60s tomorrow. So we'll be about the same numbers tomorrow. We'd be warmer if it weren't for the fact we're going to see a little more cloud cover during the day. But tonight, we should be Clear for a good part of the night. A long stretch of unseasonably mild weather up into the 60s for highs pretty much over the next seven days. And a dry stretch at least into the early part of next week, finally late Tuesday. And into Tuesday night, we'll see our rain chances rising. We had a high today of 64. 30 degrees are low, but our normals are 39. Our normal high is 39 degrees. Normal low is 23 with a record of 70 in 1911. And for the weekend, it will remain unseasonably mild. 62 on Saturday, 63 on on Sunday. These are temperatures you'd expect more for the middle part of the month of April uh, than the middle part of February. Now we'll see those readings, as I mentioned, low 60s for us. Notice a little cooler down toward Louisville and Lexington where the clouds will be thicker. Could even be some showers if you're heading down here for the weekend, but otherwise, northern Indiana, northern Ohio, low to mid 60s for high should be more sunshine up that way. Milder temperatures with more sun on Sunday, 63 here in Dayton, and then you can see those readings even around 70 at Evansville and 71. At Springfield, Illinois. The Duncan Oil Company camera tonight, a clear sky in Springfield. Current temperature there uh, sitting in the uh, 50s, too. And the Stall Vision camera tonight, some high thin clouds out on the western horizon, but overhead pretty much clear skies, and that's the way it'll stay for a good part of the night. Dry weather on live Doppler 2 HD. Uh, looking to the northeast, some thicker clouds across the eastern Great Lakes, and some high clouds to the west. We're seeing those out on the horizon, but the thicker clouds will watch, starting to spread up toward. Memphis, Tennessee, and those will work northeastward late tonight. We're currently 61 degrees, a southwest wind at 14 miles per hour. A dry day, 38% for the relative humidity. All of our weather checkers in the 60s today. Don Chateau in Sydney, 64 degrees. Jason Thompson in Brookville at 64. Hope Quilkey, one of the warmer numbers there when she called in at 65. A warm front northeast of us tonight with a mild air in place over eastern Indiana and western Ohio. Here come the high clouds late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Morning. Uh, we'll see some of those around, but still fairly thin at 8 o'clock, but they'll tend to thicken up in the afternoon. Some of the rain mostly to the south of us, especially down along Interstate 64. And then dry weather expected with mostly cloudy skies for Saturday night. Clouds break up on Sunday, and we're into the 60s for Sunday and into Monday, too. Our forecast tonight, clear skies for a good part of the night, down to 45 degrees. Late night, we'll see some increase in clouds. And then increasing clouds through the day tomorrow. Uh, getting back to cloudy skies later in the afternoon. 62 expected for the afternoon high. A 58 degree reading at noon, mostly cloudy at 2 o'clock. 62 with cloudy conditions into the evening in your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. 63 on Sunday, 66 on President's Day on Monday. A chance of a shower late Tuesday in 60s. And then maybe some early day rain Wednesday. But look at those temperatures all the way to next Friday. Highs at or above the 60 degree mark. You sure that's the right graphic? You didn't like fast forward a month or something? I think I might have found one from <laughs> April last year. Not sure.